Hey YouTube, Todd back with another video for you today. And today's quick tip is going to be setting up expression maps in Cubase using Spitfire libraries and how they use UACC to do that. So let's get started. As you can see here, I have three tracks with three different Spitfire libraries, and I'm gonna show you how to set these up. It's very simple, so let's open up this. This is very crucial, this is the first thing that you need to do. So go to the little wrench, to come down here where you see the little padlock. Click on that, and as you can see, here's the different functions that you can use to set up this type of expression maps or key switching. What we wanna do is lock to UACC. Now click back here, and what you're going to see is when you hover over one of these or click one of these, you're going to see this little number right here. This is very important. So this is the CC data that the expression maps in Cubase is going to use. So let's go set up our expression map. Expression map set up. And bring back up that window so we know which ones to use. So we're just going to do, uh, let's do this first one, so short. So let's create a new one. We're going to put this for Albion 1, Brass High. Enter there. We're gonna set up our first, we have a first slot there. Let's just put another one. So our first slot's gonna be for short. Now we wanna select the articulation. What I, you can have two options here. And as you can see, Cubase already has some predetermined articulations. They have the techniques, they have links, ornaments, and dynamics. You know, very basic stuff. And there's gonna be ones that you find here that you can use that are already set up for you. And I would go ahead and use those. Or you can add a custom articulation. It's all up to you and how you want to do that. So this is shorts. So what we could do, I'm just gonna do a custom one. And then down here in the articulations, it will put up a box in here. And what you could do is you can add a symbol. So let's say if you know you wanna get real fancy with it and you want a symbol to, to make you know shorts, you can do that. What I do, I just use text and we just put short. And then we wanna select the type to direction. And now here's the very important part to make this work. Go to your output mapping, click the plus, you want to select this to controller. And when we want to select is, we want to put 32 here. That's what Spitfire uses. And then here's where the other second important, data two. What number do you put there? That's when you go back to content and you see this UACC, CC number 40. So we're going to put number 40 here. And voila, there we have our key switch set up. Now let's do a second one here. So we'll do long, do the exact same thing. Articulation. I'm just gonna do a custom text long. We wanna make sure this is set to direction. Let's set our output mapping. We wanna do controller CC32. And that one is one. There we go. So we have our Albion Brass High set. Let's close this down, close this, and then let's just put some basic MIDI notes here. And then I'll show you how you set up the expression map within Cubase. That next, very important, do not forget to put the expression map, select it within Cubase. So there you go, now it's selected. When we go into our, there, when we go to our articulations, to get the data, you just click on this one right here. And as you can see, they're already set up. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put long, we'll put short, short, long, short, long, short, long. And what we should do is it should automatically select those and play the phrases for us. So let's give it a shot. There we go. It looked like that first note really didn't get hit very well. It might be because we have it on one. Let's try it here. It might not have seen it. And there we go. Our expression map is set up. So let's move on to, let's mute that, move on to this one. And as you can tell, it's gonna be this, it's gonna be pretty much the same uh, philosophy behind that first map. Go to your expression maps, we'll select, uh, let's see, Symphony SSS Woodwind Flute Solo. We want two slots and let's open it up. Make sure we click to Lock to UACC, go back to here. And so we're gonna do legato. Slot one is gonna be legato. Articulation, now I think Cubase has a legato. Um, yes, right there, already set up for us. That's been already set up. So make sure, always double check to make sure it's direction. And now you go to your output mapping. We select controller. We want number 32. 
And then for this is number 20. All right, our legato is set up. Now let's do long flutter. There we go, that's, that's interesting. Now, the way I usually set up my key switches for all the articulations is I just go in order that they are within contact or within the library, the Spitfire library. So just so they're in order, so I know. Um, but you, you know, you can do it however you want. But I just think that makes more sense. So long flutter. Uh, I don't think there's there might be a technique in here for that. Um, but normally, what I like to do, I just like to add a custom one just so I know that I'm getting it the way I want it. So we'll put long flutter. And when you do the articulation, you can always do abbreviations. Uh, that's that's no big deal. It's however you feel. It's, it's totally up to you and what makes sense to you. All right, now we'll do this. Do our controller, number 32. And then our data for this one is 11. Because we can see that right there. All right, let's close that. Close this. And let's go back. And let's put some data here. Now we make sure where our, our expression map is set up. There it is, it's been selected. Now we go in here, legato, and then let's do for that long A right there, the flutter. Now let's play this. And there we go. Our expression map has been set up. So let's do it one more time. And this is for the alternative, the new library from them, alternative solo string. So this is a violin. Let me do the expression map setup, get that back up, put that in here. Now we can make sure we go here, click on this, UACC, click back. And we're gonna do, let's do long. Let's do another slot here. Now, obviously when you create these, uh, you want to make a slot for each articulation that you see within uh, right here within the library. So you're going to have to do, I think there's like 12 or 13 for this one. So you're going to have to create individual ones. Let's just do a custom. We'll just do text long, whoops, long. We want to make sure this is direction. We well, want to select this to controller CC32. And for that would be number one. And let's select our second one. Let's get something interesting here. We'll do that one. So trim, sol, punt. And then we'll just do it, add a custom articulation. Now here's where you might want to abbreviate this. You know, just trim, period, sol, punt, or however you want to do it. Direction, go here, controller, CC32. And then that data is number 13. All right. And then let's just record just some random data. We're not here for the beauty of the composition. We're just here to demonstrate expression maps. All right. So we'll do long, that, long, that, okay. And there we go. It works. So I hope that helps you. I hope that answers a lot of questions I've seen on my channel. People ask me my first expression maps videos. I hope that's a little bit clear, especially for Spitfire libraries. I know I had trouble when I was trying to set these up. Um, so if you like this video, please hit that like button. If you're new to this channel, please subscribe because there's a bunch of content on here. I'm sure it will help you if you're an aspiring new composer. Uh, definitely there. If you have any questions, there's a link down below to my website uh, that you can go there and it's a contact form. Ask me any questions you want. And as always, thanks for watching. Thanks for the support. And I'll see you on the next video.